Namaste, peace, love, and light. Welcome to Powerhouse Tarot. Gang, gang, gang. Hey, you already know. I'm energy goddess, okay? Welcome to my channel. If you enjoy my messages, make sure to like the video, subscribe, all of that, comment, chat. You already know, okay? Welcome in, so family collectives, all right? So today I wanted to get a message in hear what's going on with the vibes okay our current situation here okay beautiful retrograde in Virgo what's going on okay grab some more of these messages here and if you guys enjoy these videos make sure you like and subscribe to the channel okay welcome on so hey okay Channel messages here for the collective. Channel messages here for the collective. Okay. We have forgiveness here. Wow. Okay. Something here about forgiveness. Hurt blocks our lights. Okay. So spirit wants us to forgive something right now. Okay. Let's grab the current energies around forgiveness. I'm also going to grab the light message concerning this. So we're talking about forgiveness. We all know what that is. But if there's any more detail, insight, let's grab it. A guardian's message there is. Okay. So the white light of love releases you from pain and suffering of believing in what is not you. Okay. This is about forgiveness here. Okay. The only forgiveness that we can receive is that which we can experience for ourselves. In essence, to forgive another life or the world is an irrelevant as being forgiven by another life or the world. If we have not forgiven ourselves, we can neither receive forgiveness nor have it to give. Okay? So there's a big message, right? Sometimes when, when we, we can't do that, right? Mm. Collect this message here, retrograde and verb. Verb, verb, the word. Thank you. Mm, thank you. Okay. So we got out the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Major message. So you want to move forward, but you're kind of stuck in forgiveness where maybe that might be difficult for someone at this time here. Collective, I'm hearing, holding on to grudges that are petty. Okay. Nine of Cups. This person could be your wish fulfillment or this situation in particular, an opportunity. Okay. But you may be holding on to something, okay? Six of Cups, as well as past relationships, past paradigms. We're holding on to an Eight of Cups, although we know we need to walk away from it. We're in the Nine of Cups, meaning whatever you were manifesting has come here forth for you, right, collective? Now, what are we stuck on? Four of Pentacles, okay? What do we need to let go of at this time? Surrender. So that we could be in forgiveness, okay? Holding on to past relationships, I'm hearing a message about. Holding on to past paradigms as well. As well as not forgiving those that we're in situations with, right? What else is coming out here for us collectively? Thank you, Spirit. Three of Cups. Yeah, so this isn't just concerning love. It's also concerning our friendships. The relationships for us that are going to mean the most to us at this time, okay? Four of Pentacles representing what we should let go of. Nine of Cups. Do we let it go? Do we release it? Do we surrender? What's going on here? Current situation, current energies. Yes, we do, okay? It's quite burdensome here. I'm hearing for some of us here in the collective, okay? We're in that space, that opportunity of transition with the Wheel of Fortune. Collective messages for our situation, What's the situation? Okay, Knight of Wands. Some of us are definitely uh, reeling back from a situation that we could have been possibly rushing into. Uh, trying to create this sort of paradigm, this sort of narrative or something with someone, something. All right. And so at the end of the day, you still get wish fulfillment. But the thing is, how do we acquire that true uh happiness that true wish okay and i feel like the message here collective is through forgiveness some of us 
honestly just take our time while judging the situations with friends, with lovers, all of that. Honestly, I feel like we've recognized something here. It's a good time to forgive, let go, surrender. Messages here for the collective. I'm going to grab some messages of advice moving forward. Okay. Can we get one more message here of the situation? Thank you. Yeah, the moon. Okay, there's something about it that we may or may not see coming. I feel like I say that specifically because some of us are going to intuitively see this coming. This sort of transformation energy here with the will of... Uh, fortune you know it's the changing of our minds changing of our perspective seeing things a little different also we have out the eight of cups of walking away releasing burdens that are too hard like sometimes just accepting the truth about someone right you know this is coming out for the collective can we get uh advice messages here spirit thank you so, yeah, I mean, moving forward, I want you to recognize. I'm glad you did see it for what it is. Be able to call it out. Don't be afraid to investigate a situation. Look a little deeper here is what I'm hearing. Okay. Some of us, honestly, like I said, just rushed into a paradigm. Not even thinking that, you know, someone was going to try to take advantage or, you know, anything of that nature. And I don't even think they took advantage so much as they were just misleading you here. Okay, someone was extremely misleading. Okay, and it's time you recognize that. Some of them could have. I mean, I'm not saying they didn't take advantage, but I'm not hearing that for everyone. So let's see. Our messages of advice. These relationships from the, the past, it seems like with the Six of Cups, it's like they're coming back. And they want to, you know, re, you know, redo something, restart here. I'm hearing some of you guys are just dead, done over. This is like beating a dead horse is what's coming out for some of you guys. Some of you guys, there's a, a, a friendship that it's worth uh, continuing, you know. But also for the most part, I'm really just hearing that you've really moved on and just develop into this new being that. You know, maybe before you guys would have been friends, but, you know, maybe now that's not a possibility just because you've really changed so much. Messages of advice here. Yeah, there's some sort of uh, conflict argument situations. That some of us will be moving away from, okay? Be in your higher self. Use lies your discipline is what I'm hearing with this page of wands. Okay, many of us are going into a situation that we're going to have to be the bigger person and just look at something from a different perspective. I feel like someone wants to come in and kind of, you know what I'm saying? They coming in on this low energy, very low vibrational, immature energy. And, you know, the thing is, is, you have the power to really control the narrative here is what I'm hearing, the outcome. Okay, collective. So this is really all up to you. I feel like somebody did something and they put the ball in your court, okay, at this time. So it's really about what are you going to do? Ten of fucking swords, five of cups. Do you walk away? Do you release the burden? Like, what do you do, okay? So advice moving forward, I would say release the burden, okay? And go ahead and walk away. It's safe to do so at this time, okay? There's different paths for you being created with you choosing better, with your better judgment, right? You don't have to, just because you're invited to something doesn't mean you have to show up, right? Nine of Pentacles, the high priestess, okay? You don't have to get off of your throne and get messy with someone just because you've been invited. Three of Wands, King of Pentacles, this person could be lying about somebody's situation to somebody or sitting up gossiping you know what i mean that sort of energy i'm hearing you know so walk away 
when I tell you that five of wands came out, that was the gossip. That was the bullshit. You got to just honestly choose a higher path at this time. Advice moving forward for the collective. I mean, it doesn't even have to be down something so catty, but it could be that definitely is what I'm hearing, right? For some of us, we're in this wish fulfillment of the nine of cups like we had in the second deck, okay? But you got to release the heartbreak around this, okay? Because some of you guys, you were being and keeping it real with somebody and they just weren't keeping it real with you. And I'm going to keep it a thought while with you. You know what I'm saying? That's never your fault that you're keeping it a thought with, with somebody and they don't know how to reciprocate that. That's never your bad, ever. You know what I'm saying? But well, we got to learn how to surrender that pain around our heart that makes us think that we got to continue to attract the bullshit just for to have something, right? Five of Pentacles with the judgment. Because we know our purpose is much greater than this want and this desire that we have with these worldly people and these worldly things, okay? These things don't even make us happy here, Divines. And that's what I'm hearing overall advice and guidance, okay? Continue to follow your higher self and your truest purpose, okay? And you'll be led, okay? Despite what sort of illusions people try to sway you with, um, I feel like they'll try to tempt you in all different kind of ways and you just have to see through the bullshit and be able to know that people are full of shit because sometimes people will pay just to be a part of some bullshit or have you a part of some bullshit, you know? So we got to, we got to, Understand who our enemies are, right? Here, collective is what we're what they're saying, you know. <laughs> okay. Able bull. Okay, they are talking right now. What, what else is coming out here for the collective? Thank you so much. Okay. Four of Wands, Ace of Cups. This is about your fucking happiness and your fucking growth. Somebody wants to piggyback off of that. Someone wants a piece and a bit of recognition that is not fucking their portion, okay? And you got to understand that. Don't give these people the time of fucking day. You don't get off of your throne for them, all right? You know, you know, you just don't, okay? You're healing, You're recovering. You're taking that time to build out what's yours. Build up what's yours. Excuse me. All right. And despite the secrets and bullshit that they talk behind your back, okay? Best believe none of them say it to your face. Why? Respectfully, because they can't. They don't have access, right? Access denied. And even if they could, they wouldn't. Okay? A lot of us really, truly, you know, these people are very weak-minded individuals. Sometimes you have to understand that you're operating with here in the collective. There's more than just your energy here, you know, out in the world in general, right? So, understand people, you know, they really only get access because kind of you allow it and you kind of have to create healthy boundaries, I guess, around your space now at this time, advice moving forward, because sometimes you just can't trust people, really. You cannot trust them. That's just a fucking real talk. I feel like you'll have a lot of success. You'll have a lot of abundance. You'll have the things you need. You have all the tools to build your legacy, your empire, your growth, Okay. Don't allow procrastination to be something that, okay, blocks you here either, right? Some of you guys are extremely talented. Don't allow laziness to block you, right? Whatever it is, examine what these things are because for each of us, it's going to be different. So advice moving forward, know that you have that wish fulfillment, nine of cups energy. Had it out two, two decks, right? So there's nothing should be stopping us here, collective. There's not one thing, right? Collective. I love you guys. That's the message. Peace.